I want you all to understand something about life. Discontentment and unhappiness is supposed to motivate you. But you've been tricked by the modern world into thinking that there's a problem with you, that it's a condition, there's a disease, there's something wrong with me. Completely incorrect. When you feel like shit, it's supposed to be warning you that your life is shit and something must change. And it's supposed to inspire you to push harder. Well, once you hit 225 on the bench press, you're officially a gym bro. Busy. Sure you are. That's a lie. The therapist taught me this, and it's about accepting the seasons. Mm. Weather can never be the same. That's just not how the world works. Can never rain all day, every day, like we'd flood. That's just not how the world works. So maybe you're in a season, but the weather always has to change. What can you be learning? What can you be doing in this season? Because it's definitely not gonna change if you're not figuring out what lesson you need to have in this season, you know what I'm saying? So really, the goal is to figure out how to get out of it. If it never rained, the plant's not growing. Wow. But nobody likes the rain, it's not giving. Some people love it though. Some people find a way to be happy in the rain. So what are you doing in the rain? Mm. Are you just standing there? There's a, there's a way out of it. The cloud will pass over. You have to make the decision to finally move forward. Because I'm sick of hearing about it. I hear a lot of people say that they want it. I hear a lot of people say that they're willing to do whatever it takes to make it happen. But when it gets hard and when it gets tough, you cut corners and that's what you get in life. That's why you're at where you're at. That's why you're clinging to the edge of the dominant hierarchy of life because you have accepted less for yourself than what God in this universe intended for you. See, you already have enough. You've never been broken and you're operating perfectly the way that you were designed. You just have to go through and start reframing what this is all about. No one is going to come and save you in life. This is what you have to realize. This is the great discipline that we all want. It's already inside of us. It's already inside of you. From here on out, you have to make a promise. You have to look the man in the mirror. Remember when the sun was out just last week? And you felt great and you set all these pretty little goals for yourself. Everything was going great, right? Fast forward a week later, the temperatures dropped. It became a little gloomy. Ain't no sun no more. But guess what? You stopped with it. Everything you, all the goals you set when it was sunny, it went away now just because the weather has changed. Just because the season has changed. See, that makes you a conditional goal setter and chaser. You know how people are unconditional lovers in the world? They just love no matter what. You gotta become an unconditional goal setter and chaser for your goals and your, your for your well-being, you gotta do that. If you are conditional towards your goals and what you want in life and the goals you set, that means you ain't really loyal. That means the first sign of adversity, the first sign of change, you ball up and you shrivel up. And that's how you never will get to your spot. The spot that's tailor-made for you, you will never get there because you are conditional rather than unconditional. You gotta change it up, man. It's Monday, let's get it. You asked me why I'm doing all this. But even if I told you why, I doubt very strongly that the knowledge would change anything at all. You glow like, pay homage or case vomit, ungrateful niggas I don't like. I realized I was on the right path because it stopped being easy. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm tired as f but I'm not gonna complain because I asked for this sh So I'm gonna smile with tired fucking eyes and realize that everything I'm doing on a daily basis is for a fucking reason. Ah, so you do feel something for me. And people say my charm is fake. <laughs>